hi let us see how to set up hibernate in the eclipse so for that we need to have hibernate distribution file we can have that file in this website so once we go to that website we can have the stable version of that file so once we downloaded this one we will get the zip file which has this folder which contains all these things inside let's create a Java project in the Eclipse And we need to configure the build path with the libraries with the jar files which are available in the distribution file currently we have some user library well we will remove that one and we will create a new one Let's add all the jars. We need to add the jars which are available in the distribution folder itself. All the jars in the required folder. As well, we need to add the JPA one. This is it. And also we need to add hibernate three point char. Well we need to add one external jar which is OJDBC jar so it comes with the database mine is oracle xe database well it is here jdbc 14 point jar so i got all the jars required jars Let's create a folder with the name resources. And we need to have a Hibernate configuration file. Let us find that one. This is the one I wanted to see a configuration file. Let's copy this file into this folder. Let's open this one. So this file contains all these things inside. So not required. If you find any difficulty or having any doubt in editing this file, we can Google it and we can find the template. Uh, we can find the hyperlink configuration file template of uh, Oracle. For the Oracle database, these are the required properties with the values for your reference. We will save this one. Let us create a Java class.
by means of this clause we are going to test our hibernate setup whether it is working oh, this is the test clause so here configuration configure method so it reads all the contents of that um, hibernate configuration file hibernate cfg.xml file from the mentioned path or location on the build session factory oh, this method actually it gets driver clause url username password from jvm and creates the connection pool and from connection pool it picks one connection and establish a connection with the database it checks and make sure that data um, the tables are available in the database on this open session this method actually uh, by using this method we can get the session object so this method uh, this method is actually it's like uh, getting a connection object so this is it let's run this one yeah yes we got the objects yeah this is it we are done thanks for watching